Welcome to InServe. Hey folks! Breaking news from Butler, Pennsylvania. Former President Donald Trump was the target of an assassination attempt at a campaign rally. Yes, you heard that right, an assassination attempt. Gunfire erupted, causing sheer panic among the crowd. Secret Service agents sprang into action, rushing Trump to safety. He sustained a minor gunshot wound to his right ear, but reports confirm he's doing fine. The shooter, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks was positioned on a nearby rooftop. He was fatally shot by Secret Service agents. Tragically, one rally attendee was killed and two others are critically injured. This marks a grave escalation in political violence as we near the presidential election. Witnesses describe scenes of chaos and fear as gunshots rang out. People ducked for cover, unsure of where the bullets were coming from. Some reported hearing bullets ricocheting off equipment and a speaker tower was hit. Two firefighters from Ohio who were at the rally recounted how they assisted the injured amidst the panic. The scene was nothing short of chaotic, with people scrambling for safety while authorities secured the area. This incident has left many shaken, highlighting the very real dangers faced by public figures and attendees at political events. It's a stark reminder of the fragility of peace and the need for increased security measures. The area as always was well guarded and secure, the shooter was close to the event on a rooftop. If you find this content useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on this channel's content. Back to the story. This assassination attempt is a chilling reminder of the ever-present threat of political violence in the United States. It harkens back to past incidents like the assassination of Robert F. Kennedy and the shooting of George Wallace, both of which led to amplified security measures for political candidates. Reactions have been strong from both sides of the political spectrum. Some Republicans are blaming the current political climate and rhetoric for inciting violence. President Biden has condemned the act and called for unity. This event underscores the deep political divisions in our country and the potential for those divisions to manifest in violence. It's a sobering reminder of the need for peaceful dialogue and a rejection of hateful rhetoric to protect the foundations of American democracy. Folks, before we wrap up, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more great content. Your support helps us bring you the news that matters. Thank you for tuning in and stay safe out there.